Hey guys, welcome back again. Today I have what's called a trailer ball lock here. I was actually cleaning out uh, cleaning out the garage the other day and I stumbled across this. This is a lock I purchased I think um, well, two or three years ago anyway for one of my work trailers. Um, seemed like a good investment at the time. Now if I remember it was probably about 35-40 bucks for this thing. As you can see, it's well weathered, well used. Um, again, at the time, thought it was great security for the trailer. You know, nobody will steal it. Now, knowing what I know about locks, this was probably the biggest waste of money I've, I've ever spent. I'm going to show you guys how it works. So typically, this gets put up into the, uh, the, the, the tongue of the trailer, uh, simulating where your, your hitch would go. And then this just simply clamps over the top of the tongue locking it down so nobody can actually hitch onto it and drive away with your trailer. So, simple way to get it open obviously is with the key. Um, put the key in, turn the key, and the shackle removes right out. The key itself is uh, one, two, three, four, five, five uh, wafers actually. This is a, this is a wafer lock. But, <laughs> I'm going to show you a couple different ways to get into this thing and show you just uh, just how cheap this thing really is. So, so you saw me get into it with a key. Now, first thing we're going to do is actually just go in and hit it with a pick. And as you're going to see, it does not take a lot of effort to get this thing open. You know, one or two hits on some of these wafers. I'll make a liar out of me now. There we go. So, already in and in less than five seconds with a pick. Now, if you're, uh, if you're not a lock picker, just lock that back up again. Actually, we're going to show you one more pick, just uh, kind of how easy this thing is to rake open. Again, put a tension wrench in, a little bit of tension on it. Just going to use our, uh, our triple peak or our worm rake here. Go in, hit a few of those wafers, and we're open again. And uh, honestly, oh, I just uh, <laughs> just closed back up on me there. And um, if this lock was newer, there we go. If this lock was newer, I don't even think it would take that long. It's just this has been outside in the weather for you know a few years, so there's a lot of dirt and grime, and as you can see, it's not in the best of shape. But a couple other ways I wanted to show you how to exploit this lock or get into it. One, you guys have seen uh, seen these tools before. This is just a simple uh, knife tool. I think it's about uh, .09 thousandths of an inch. Um, we use these for, for different types of uh, combination locks and whatnot. But it works very similar to a cheap paddle lock. You can actually get in there and shim this thing. So if you stick your pick down and actually get it wedged in between the shackle, uh, if you can get the right angle, Get it down in between the shackle and the little locking paw there, which, oh yeah, sure, now it's now it's making me look like a liar. Using, oh, there we go. If you can get it down in there without breaking your pick, which I think I'm doing. Oh, just can't get the right angle. I guess it's uh, going to want to make me look like a liar this time. Oh, there we go. Okay, got it in. So, if you get a shim in there, as you can see, if you keep your shim in place, this thing will just slide right out, almost like, uh, like a handcuff would as well. But, even if you don't have a little shim knife, I'm going to show you one more thing you can do to get into these things, just to show you how cheap they actually are. This is just a... Uh, piece of uh, plastic from a lock I purchased um, actually from a couple videos ago you might remember we're gonna make a, l a little homemade shim right out of plastic here just to show you just how easy it is to get into these things I'll just cut a piece of plastic out just so it'll fit in and around that shackle 
nothing fancy at all we'll lock it back up as you can see locked up again and if we just use this little piece of plastic and slide it down in between the shackle and that little locking paw you can hold it into place this thing will just pull right out so again guys if you're looking for uh, a way to secure your trailer down I would uh, probably advise against getting one of these again at the time uh, not knowing or not having a great knowledge of locks I thought this was just just the cat's ass to pick up thinking my trailer would be safe but uh, you know for thirty five forty dollars I mean go out spend a couple dollars on a good chain get a good padlock and uh, you'll be a lot safer so anyway guys just a quick review on these little uh, trailer uh, uh, lockout balls here for the tongue again thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one thanks guys well sit children let me give you the subject of the day